Hey guys, my name is Gemselex and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Today we are doing episode 8, Red Coins of the Lake. This mission is probably going to be ferreting. Is that even a word? Anyways, <laughs> let's... This this mission involves us collecting collecting red eight red coins once again. Only this time, some of them are actually up on the tight ropes, which is going to be annoying because there's those like cloud enemies that run and hit you, and yeah, it just gets really messy very fast. So, anyways, let's go ahead and make our way over there. Starting off, there is a nozzle I want to get over here, and it's the rocket nozzle. I have not shown you guys this one yet. I showed you the turbo nozzle. Uh, can I get up here? Get up there. Alright, so, if we go up here, there's a red coin right there to start off. Let's go ahead and get that. Alright, let's go ahead and do the nice little trick that I always love doing. Which is this one. And, there we go. Alright, so this is the rocket nozzle. When you use it, hold R, jump up, and you fire up just like that. It's really cool, it allows you to reach places that you normally wouldn't reach. It allows you to do a nice... Down, nice. What? <laughs> and it allows you to do a ground pound that is really, really good. I'm gonna show you right now if this enemy doesn't hit me. Alright. It goes like this. Like. Alright, hold on. I have to go back down there because there's some red coins on there. But if you hold. If you use the rock nozzle, then. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing a ground pound that is like. I don't know. It's a different kind of ground pound because of the fact that. It charges up and gets red, which means when you ground pound certain things, you'll be able to break them. Not often that you use that, but you'll see an example later down. Later. I don't even know what I'm saying. Is that all the red coins in the water? There's like a few red coins in the water. No, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and go and get... Wow, quite the jump that was. Okay. Need to get the hover nozzle again because... The rocket nozzle can make it harder to get these red coins, and I'm not doing that, so let's get the hover nozzle. And let's make our way back over to the red coins. Alright, let's see here. Um, How does one get to there? Well, the best way of doing it is just doing it going over here. I'm gonna cut this out. Alright, no, 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 Don't pick that up. Alright, get up there. Alright, so the last four red coins are up in the sky, as you could say. So, the best part about this is that there's going to be cloud enemies constantly trying to hit you. And the best way to deal with them is to shoot water at them. Because if they hit you, you are being knocked out of the sky. And you're going to fall to your death. And that's not fun. Believe me. Yeah, watch out for those enemies. I don't think they can knock you off. They just kind of bump you and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, making our way over here. There's one red coin that we just got there. Another one of these clouds. Oh my god, I hate them so much. Spray them! Got it, okay. There's a red coin up here. Now, there's like these little clouds. And if you spray the clouds with water, it makes the platform bigger for you to stand on. Just like that, as you can see. So that could be very helpful if you don't want to fall. Uh, over here we have another red coin. I am so hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. Should be talking about how hungry I am. Get this red coin. <laughs> uh, don't hit me. And right here. Now where is the last red coin? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Alright. Let's get it. Eh. No! Ow. I failed. Well, there you go. That's what happens. Can we make it from over here? I swore I did it before. Come on. Alright, there we go. Last red coin is right here. So let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, so the shine spray appears right inside the windmill. So let's go ahead and do that little trick I like to do. Now, I always try to do it right here, but I can never pull it off. Wait, hold on. Let me wait for a second. Let me wait a second. I'm about to run out of water as well. That's not good. I'm about to run out of water. Hurry! Yeah, see, because you always bump into that, so it doesn't even work like you'd want it to. Uh, 
You're joking. You're, you're joking. Can I? Alright, guys, I'll be right back. Screw you, I'm taking shortcuts. Alright, can we just get up there and get the freaking shine spray? There we go. And that's it for episode 8. Now, as you can see over there, we have yet another one of those bosses that we have to fight, which will reveal another world. But we're going to go there later. For now, let's head to the new world, which will be called... Something, something, something. You'll see in a moment. It's right over here. And... Spray it. Oh, it's already been sprayed. But anyways, here we have the second world. I actually really like this world. This is... Rico Harbor. Episode 1, Gooper Blooper Breaks Out. This is another boss you're going to be seeing like 5 million times. <laughs> Alright, so Rico Harbor is what it basically is. It's like a harbor with a lot of water, as usual. I mean, this is Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, so to head off, we want to head straight ahead over here. Use a ground pound to flip through these gates. Yeah, you can do that. It's very helpful. Here we have bloopers. They'll shoot ink at you and stuff. Alright. And all right, here we are. That was pretty fast. So what you want to do right here is we have this like tentacle thing. You just want to grab it and pull it back just like that, and then a cutscene plays. All right. So here we have Glooper Blooper. What you're gonna want to do is you want to spray his face. And then, wait, hold on, wait. I'm so worried, guys. I just realized that my audio was playing in the background. Like my voice, oh, my voice wasn't being echoed. Oh my God, I so want to check for that right now. Anyways, what you have to do is you have to grab these tentacles and pull them back just so that you can make it easier to grab him. And then you want to, you want to grab his face and pull it back. Ow, stop it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, failing. All right, so that's what you want to do. You want to grab his face and... His, what is it? His mouth or his tail? What? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, pretty much you got to do that, I think, like, three times. Or is it two? Or is it three? I don't know. Usually three is the magic number and... Nintendo games. Let's grab it. Ah! Oh, yeah, those two. All right, and he's gone. Nice. And there you go. Our next is Shine Sprite. Shine! Okay, episode two, Blooper Surfing Savari. Now this one, I believe there's two Shine Sprites you can get from this. So let's go ahead and start off by getting the first one. So what you have to do is you have to take the blooper. Because you can surf on bloopers in this game for some reason. So let's go over here. Now there's three different ones. The green one's the slowest. You can handle it more. The yellow one is medium where you have, uh, it's fast. Faster than the green one and you have, but you have not as much control. And the pink one is the fastest. But you have like not as much control on it so usually i just grab the yellow one i really wouldn't recommend grabbing the green one for this mission but we're gonna go ahead and head inside here and do this next mission so he's saying you want to go for a ride but go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best go on show me some super blooping skills all right so we're gonna go and grab the yellow one to start off the second time around we're gonna be grabbing the pink one to for faster speed because if you beat this uh mission another 40 seconds the second time around you get another shine sprint so we're just doing the first one so yeah let's not if you bump into anything you just die that's it it's just death so you know don't bump into anything um let's see here you can take little shortcuts right here but you got to be careful because if you like i said if you bump into any wall walls you'll die so don't do that Alright, and turn it right here, and there you go. And there's our Shine Sprite. 
Grab it. All right, there you go. Episode three, the cane. Sh nope, never mind. You gotta do this one again. <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, that's right. We have to do that one. All right, let's go ahead and do this once again. But this time we're gonna use the pink blooper because the pink one is the fastest one, and that will allow us to get the shine spray. So, like I said, you want to complete this in 60, no, 60, 30 seconds, or 40 seconds or less to get this second, the second secret shine spray. So it's harder to handle this, so you want to be very careful with that. If you don't turn at the right moment, you'll end up bumping into something and dying. So don't let that happen. So I would recommend going as far to the right as possible, and then doing a turn like that, and then jumping over. And there you go. Oh god, oh god, am I gonna make it? Yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll be fine. And... There you go, that's good enough. And there's your secret shine sprite. And grab it. Okay, here we have the episode 3, the cage shine sprite. This is going to be the last episode we do for this video. Now this one, this mission can be either very, very fast or not as fast. I've actually completed this mission in under 3 minutes. It's not really that hard. Can I get up here? Oh, this is a good start, falling in the water. Alright. I think the fastest way of doing this mission is coming up here, like do a triple jump, if I could do a triple jump, there we go, or not, it's all good, alright, wanna, can you get up there Mario, alright, up here, usually what I do is I go up here, and I try to find a shortcut, where is the shortcut at, is it right here, oh, no, that's not it, land back in the boat, all right, so here we are back here. So what I like to do is I like to find the shortcut. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Okay. So if you can get up there, then you're already almost done. All right. All right. That wasn't that bad. Oh, I didn't unlock the rocket nozzle on this level? I thought I did. Well, I didn't. Oh, it's over there. Oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. I just need to get up here. Alright, now let's see. Oh yeah, it's over there. Okay, I see it. It's over there. Now, what's the way I usually take? I usually... Is it this way I take? I honestly don't know, guys. I'm just going... There's usually a path I always take to finish this level. I swear to God, Nintendo. Are you serious? I think that's enough cloud enemies, you know? I think that's plenty... Oh my God, we're about to run out of the water. We're about to run out of water. All right, get over there. All right, this is where I meant to go. Hi guys, jump on your head. This is where I meant to go. Over here we have a rocket nozzle. We've used this before. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to the cage that's located in the center of the map. Right there, it's the most obvious thing you can see. All right, can I can I do it? Nope. Don't don't you do it. Don't you dare. I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyways, there you go, guys. There is the next Shine Sprite. So, my name is Shemselex, and I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. So next time, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. We're going to continue on with Rico Harbor. See you guys next time.